a hey, peace and love to all of y'all man my face look kind of not normal because i just woke up but this one today is is specifically for you for you stop overplaying your part in people's lives okay stop overplaying your part in people's lives who don't deserve it and I know it's easier said than done most of the times because it'd be hard for me too. But that's what happens when you have a big heart. That's what happens when you're a giver. And it, and it kinda look like from other people that you're doing the most or that you that you trying to be a people pleaser. When in reality, that's just who you are. You're just that nice person. And if it, if it carries on for too long, more than it should, people start to take advantage of that. People start to take advantage of your kindness. They take it as a weakness, unfortunately. And that goes for any situation. That goes for your friendships. That goes for your relationships. That goes for sometimes family, like People will try to take advantage of somebody that's a giver when in reality, we not even losing out on nothing because we are givers. You know, it could it could be looked at as being used like our time, um, our feelings, our emotions, our finances, anything. You feel like we could be being used, but in reality, we was gonna give you everything anyway. You know, because that's just the type of people that we are. But there comes a point in time where we just got to realize, like, bruh, that's it. You know what I'm saying? In every aspect, that's it, bro. Stop overplaying your part. When you have somebody, a friendship, relationship, family member showing you what they are, who they are, what they do, we got to stop giving so many chances. Like, I believe in... I kind of and kind of do not believe in second chances. It, it kind of depends on who you are in the type of relationship that we have. Um, but even second chances be too much. Like, mistakes happen, of course, but something shouldn't happen. You know what I mean? Like, we know we wouldn't treat people uh, a certain way that they treat us, you know? And then that's where these, these big heart of ours become hurt and we don't want to deal with people no more and a lot of people don't understand that when you do have a big heart it's the crazy part is those be the people that get hurt the most like i said in any kind of situation when you got that big heart and you and you you got a giver just out of love bro you be the one that get messed up so bad and it's like dang really like that happened to me but yeah these these there, there's some people out here in this world that don't deserve your kindness they don't deserve your energy they don't deserve that 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 kind heart that you have because people like to take advantage we can't we can't overplay our part and and do the most for people that wouldn't possibly do the same for us like I said again, that goes for any situation. It's to me, it's kind of like matching energy, but in a positive way though. Like you can match energy um, when it comes for like just I just eyeballing it. We I'm gonna do for you what you do for me. You know, in in every situation. Um, but when it's when it comes to like somebody doing something to you, that's like terrible. And you want to go back and do the same thing times 10 you only hurting yourself really i mean you hurting the other person or the other people but at the same time you probably feel a little stupid as a person because you went down to that level you know what i mean and we don't want to match energy as far as that we want to okay you chilling you not saying this or you saying this okay i'm gonna I'm say that i'm gonna see i'm gonna see how it go when it's turned around you know what I mean? Like, match energy as far as that. Personally, that's how I feel. I haven't always been like this, but I just know, like, 
somebody hurt my feelings, bro, it ain't so easy for me to just turn the other cheek. Like, and that's something that I have to work on. It's like, okay, you did that? All right, I'm gonna do this. But at the end of the day, it's stupid. But we just gotta stop. We gotta stop overplaying our part um, in people's lives, especially people that tend not to appreciate it. And you know when you feeling um, unappreciated uh, in, a, in a friendship, in a relationship, and you just going out and you doing the, the most, but it's, for, it's out of love. It ain't even for nothing in return. That's the thing. It ain't even for nothing in return. You just do this shit out of love. And then you don't respect, you don't expect nothing in return, but at the end, end of the day, it's like, dang. Like, hello, you don't see me? You know what I'm saying? So I've learned to stop overplaying my part. It's like, treat people how you want to be treated, the golden rule. And that's just what I'm like going off of from now on. Like, I was never a, a people pleaser. I'm just a very genuine person to the CEO down to the janitor. I'm just a genuine person. I treat everybody the same. I show everybody the same amount of respect. Like I treat people how I want to be treated. So when you don't get that in return, it kind of makes you like take a step back, but play that, play that role. Play that role. Oh, this house going this day? All right, cool. Is this house going that day? All right, cool. Let's do it like that. And you can, you can do that as long as you can tolerate it, as long as you can handle it. Don't just do it just to do it because I'm saying do it. Like, if, you, if that's how you can, like, cope, then do it that way. If not, get your stuff and ride. Get your stuff and ride and go somewhere where you feel things are reciprocated, where I started, I started to feel like in all aspects, that is my love language. Again, treating people how you want to be treated and just showing the same thing I give you. Like, just, that's reciprocation. Like, what, like what I do, you do, you know? And that's how you have some very, very healthy friendships with people by reciprocating that energy that positive energy that's why i said before that reciprocating that that negative energy ain't gonna do nothing but come back on on you anyway so it's 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 easier said than done to not do it but sometimes it gets hard though we are human beings we are human beings so if you did i couldn't even fault you on it i couldn't even fault you on it because i have before i matched somebody's energy in a negative way before and i was not happy with it not for them but because like i'm bigger than that i'm bigger than that it was just a point where i was like fed up with something and i'm like you know what all right cool i'm gonna do this too but i'm bigger than that and that's why i wanted to sh share this message because like i said i did it i've been through it and it's not a good feeling so what i just learned is to stop overplaying my part stop doing the most for people that's not gonna do the most for you and that's just that in every aspect relationship friendship stop doing the most for people who's not going to do the most for you stop overplaying your part in someone's lives they going they going to show you they going to show you who they are and they going to treat you how they going to treat you as long as you allow it as long as you stick around as long as you you don't have any boundaries i'm big on boundaries I'm big on boundaries. And I feel like as human beings, you have to be big on boundaries because then that's when people just step all over you. All right? Don't let nobody step all over you. And if people can't acknowledge the boundaries that you have, they got to go. They got to go. They no longer can have access to you, to your life, to your heart, to nothing, to nothing that kills your happiness. If you don't have boundaries right now, make some right now you're gonna deal with this you're not dealing with this you deserve this you expect that that's perfectly fine that's not asking for too much and if you've got friendships and people can't even do the bare minimum for you they definitely don't need to be a part of your life you know what i mean like you gotta stand for something or you're gonna fall for anything i know y'all have heard that before stand for something or you're gonna fall for anything and i'm not gonna be that type of person like i said i did the matching the energy thing so 
I did that in a relationship. I did that in a friendship as well. Now, me and my family don't really be having issues like that. We barely, we, I don't know the last time we argued. Like, we, we, we've come to be this close. And if there is a situation, we group chatting, we on the phone. When I'm in town, we talk in person. It's, it's like that. But like I said, it's been years. So it's really just been friendships and relationships. But I'm done overplaying my part. And I think you should be done overplaying your part too. Just reciprocate whatever is given to you in the most positive way that you can so that you're not feeling a certain type of way, so you're not feeling worthless when you do do the most, you know? Um, Don't let nobody run all over you. Set your boundaries and be firm on your boundaries, okay? Stop overplaying your part in people's lives.